welcome back to my channel guys today we wake up here in the grand canyon national park guys if you guys that know i live here in the park for seven years so i work here in different places here in the park so if you guys wanted it some inside um, going here in Grand Canyon National Park one of the seven wonders of the world here just tune in guys So I, there you go guys, I am actually visiting my old cabin here in the Grand Canyon. So this is the Maswi cabin right here. This is actually my old house. So I lived here for like probably a year or two. And they are actually close and well, um, across the street from Maswi Lodge right there behind me. But yes guys, I just missed this little tiny house and everything I needed back then. But I don't know if I can still live on here right now but it was just like fun to see and visit it's like my old house and they also have like different kind of cabins behind us so that's all the j1 people that come over here in the park to leave on the summertime so we have multiple people j1 people which is the student come over here in the park for internship they come over here either one year or three months so they are here just to experience um living and working here in the park so there you go guys i have met a lot of people here like romanian thai filipinos taiwanese like a bunch of people so it's just like a united nation during the summer times guys it was just like a party place oh you we used to just get a lot of ranger oh, call no. in this area because of the party and the noises so we get always reported oh, so no. yeah guys this is it this is one of that and there's if you guys hear that um the train is already here in the park there they come a uh, train from williams every morning from 9 to 3 in the afternoon to just um, bring tourists here into the park and then bring them back at 3 o'clock so later i'm gonna go show you guys where are the where the um the terrain um park and also where all the tourists goes after they get off and this is the Hopi house and you can find here all the Native American gifts or souvenirs that you can find and in front of it will be the El Tabar Hotel and one of the, the biggest and oldest hotel in the Grand Canyon. This El Tabar Hotel is a very camp visitor center, a century old home turned gift shop and museum and exhibit on the history of the Grand Canyon. And village. across the street is, that's the train guys, they just arrived not too long ago when we passed we still have the the people getting up the train they arrive here at 11 they leave williams at 9 and they will leave again here at 3 in the afternoon we are here at the kachina lodge in the background here and that's thunderbird in the side and this is the most beautiful um view of the national <laughs> of the grand canyon national park one of the natural wonders of the world right over here wow. here you go guys it always look like different for me at least when i live here every time i look into the canyon always different it depends when the sun is 
out or not is just like always beautiful always look like a poster view every time that I see it so there you go guys it's always beautiful for me Boy cafeteria right over there. That's where we eat lunch or breakfast. And the Bright Angel Lodge right here on the side also. It's not so many people today because it's off season, it's winter time, so that's why. And we are going to the Hermit's Hermit's Rest. So on the summer times, this one is close to the public. You have to approach the red line bus just to get to the Hermit's Red. before the Hopi point which is my personally favorite um, point here in the park um, and also guys um, I just want to mention if there you don't have a car to um, ride over here in the Hermit's Rest they also offer a tour the Grand Canyon tour also come over here in the winter times when the road is closed they don't um they don't come over here at all so here we go guys there's like a beautiful 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 view it's kind of a little chilly but it's beautiful still if you guys could see in my background it seems like the it just like snowed not too long ago so there's still um white spot under the under the rim and the on the background here so it's made it a little bit more unique every time you see it so there you go and there's Ronald hi babe there you go and here you guys if you could see I don't know if you guys could see you can see the whole village in here at this point too so that's the village right there we are on the other side of the village that's where we at earlier when i mentioned um the the el tabar hotel grand um bright angel block lodge and Maswick lodge and all the lodges and restaurants is in that side It's freezing. Are you freezing, babe? No. In the hope, in the Hopi Point, guys. That's the other reason why I like that point. Normally, it's so busy in there and crowded, but I like it because you could see the Colorado River in there, and it's the best sunset. If you guys wanted to come here in the park, that's the best sunset um place to go and it's so beautiful there i just don't know i just love the sunset in there it's just like different than the other um part of the um canyon but hopi point that is the best one guys And by the Grand Canyon Visitor Center, there is a bike shop and a grab and go. So if you guys wanted it to rent a bike, that is the best place for you. And if you also wanted it to grab a snack and coffee while you are walking in the visitor center, that is the best place also to go to. Also guys, 
back then before covid every year here in the park during summer times june um, actually they had a stargazing party over here so they always do it here in the parking lot here in the visitor center and that's um that's where at all the people from other state or even out of the country gets their telescope set up in here for everybody to see um the stars and it was just like a beautiful 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 um experience if you guys wanted to do that here in the future but for now since covid i don't think they doing it for now but if um if it goes back to normal hopefully pretty soon that they will put it back again together before the actual park guys um there is actually a little town called the tusian so there is probably about five to seven miles away from the grand canyon itself but it's a little away but they also have like a mcdonald's in here wendy's they also have like outside park hotels there's um holiday inn best western canyon plaza hotel also have guys is um grand canyon imax hot um imax so you can just um watch movies of a grand canyon in the that um imax they will talk about the park in there and also guys one thing if you guys are in a budget when you see a mcdonald don't get fooled because this mcdonald right over here in tucson is one of the expensive mcdonald's in the world guys so the dollar menu isn't really a dollar menu here guys the iced coffee the dollar iced coffee is probably about seven dollars here guys so don't get fooled if you guys see a mcdonald and pull over and then one big mac later it's 30 30 dollars on your bill for a mcdonald so don't get fooled guys and even outside the park it will be a very very expensive so um if you guys on a budget on coming here in the grand canyon you probably guys wanted is to stop on the low under the grocery store like safeway or um price in flag stop to get you a food because everything here in the park is arm and leg it was really 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 expensive so that's it guys i just wanted to um point out that guys thank you and i still have a couple of tips for you in a little bit here so there you go guys before i end this video i just like have a few tips for you guys that um visiting here in the park um sooner or soon very soon so first is the wildlife guys there's a bunch of animals here that just like walking around in the park like coyotes they have elks deers they have cute squirrels and rabbits and bobcats all over the place so my advice to you guys don't ever ever give them food or go near them to take a pictures because a lot of our tourists here in the park get in trouble because of that and there's a lot of signs because these animals are really vicious guys um, especially the squirrel they are the most dangerous um, animal here in the park so guys please stay away from them although they're really cute but just save yourself number two, guys I just wanted to let you know a lot of tourists in here that come in the national park it, especially here in my Grand Canyon South Rim this is now where the skywalk is so if you guys wanted to visit the skywalk that's gonna be in the Grand Canyon West Rim here in the um, South Rim we only we don't have that here the glass skywalk is not here in the park so if you guys wanted to go there that is towards um, towards las vegas almost so that's route to vegas but yes that's not here in the grand canyon south rim tip number three guys so grand canyon south rim is 
open 12 months a, a year so pretty much a whole year guys they are open they never close um, during the winter though it's like a lot of snow here in the, the park so if you guys planning to come in the winter times make sure you guys bundle up and make sure you have a um, four-wheel car that it will handle the snow very well and number four so if you guys looking for a nice place to eat here in the, the park um, in the, the park guys my best suggestion is either Arizona room that is one of a good one they used to have like a good bison burger but they're kind of little pricey and also the Eldavar hotel guys um, the thing I like about those both restaurant they're um, overlooking and close to the rim so you guys could dine in while you guys overlook onto the Grand Canyon and if you guys looking though for a good Mexican um, place here in the, the park not inside the park but in Tucson guys there is a good place for Mexican restaurant which is the Plaza Bonita so guys when you go to the Grand Canyon don't forget to try it out this is a tip number five if you guys visiting here in the National Park in the Grand Canyon um, we also offered a um, few tours here um, we have like a pink jeep tour that goes around the park I don't know the pricing though but they also have the Grand Canyon bass tour so they the Grand Canyon bass tour they have all day but guys they have the good sunset and sunrise tour onto the Grand Canyon bus so if you guys are planning to visit here pretty soon don't forget to um, go under the information desk for all those information about those tours all the lodges here in the park has information desk so if you guys wanted to go and check them out that would be awesome and also we also offered here a helicopter tour in Tucson so that helicopter tour is just gonna be a tour like I believe it's a half hour tour onto the um, the Grand Canyon I never experienced it myself because I'm afraid of the heights but that I have a lot of people that come to the park and they said that is like amazing it's a must to do here in the Grand Canyon this number six guys is not a tip I just um, I, we getting a lot of questions here as an employee that where the employees live live so we actually ha live here in the, the park guys inside the national park so it's not very cool it's just like a privilege for us to live here in the park so we actually have um, a dorm for girls um, also a dorm for a boys we also have like a family housing um, which is in the village so we actually have like a pretty good um, amount of families of the employees live here in the, the Grand Canyon guys we have probably about seven to ten thousand employees live here inside the park just inside the park alone and we also have um, fire station in here we also have um, clinic for us we also have um, also have what else we have here we actually have a high school um, high school here um, elementary and high school schools here in the, the Grand Canyon also we also have actually a post office here in the bank and a bank here in the, the park we actually have a Chase Bank here in the park unfortunately they are actually closing pretty soon but if you going to be here um, at least beginning of February 2022 they are probably still open for you guys if you're looking for an ATM they also have um, ATM there for the chase and also the lodges guys they also have like um, ATM in the lodges so there you go guys yes we live in the National Park tip number seven guys um, I wanted to to 
those people that coming over here for tour for sure you guys looking for uh, souvenirs and gifts for your family and all those stuff that you wanted it to buy but if you are in a budget and you want to save money I will suggest to stay away from the gift shop into the lodges guys they are arm and leg they are really really expensive I used to run a gift shop into the um, park in Maswick Lodge and it was just terrible it's just like I felt like it's a highway robbery um, if you guys wanted it a uh, very cheap souvenirs that will be the um, I will suggest you guys to go on to the general stores that is um, one of the cheapest place to buy souvenirs here in the park they also have if you guys looking for um, camping gears rentals like hiking hiking boots rentals they are um, available in the, the general store also so there is like a bunch of varieties in there that same thing that you could find in the lodges gift shop and but it's a little more cheaper than um than the lodges and also if you guys wanted it to go to tusian which is the nearby um bill village or city here in the Grand Canyon they also offers a gift shops in there and that they are way cheaper also to buy gift shopping gifts and souvenirs in there tips number eight guys so I wanted it to point out if you guys traveling here during a summer um, you guys probably gonna go have a hard time finding a parking spot here in the park because a bunch of people come here to see the canyon during a summer um, time so if you guys wanted it to do I will um, give you a tip just park either in the visitor center or the, um, the general store and then just take advantage of the free shuttle buses so we have like free shuttle bus you can get all of them actually on the um, under the visitor center um, we have the blue line that goes to the village and that also goes to the hermits transfer which is the red line bus that goes to the hermits rest so that is a uh, another point that you wanted it to visit in the, the Grand Canyon the hermits rest during the summer times guys they have a bus for free which is the red line and then the third color will be the purple one purple pur purple one is actually going to the town of Tusian into the park they all free guys and they run every 10 minutes so if you guys miss the other bus you guys could um could wait and then they will um come back in 10 minutes and also there's orange route too that goes to the desert view and i don't know how often is that goes but um the hermit's rest and the blue line they are really really often so and there's like a specific place of pick up in there and they have like a sign every single stop that um about the on the under the bus stop so there's a sign you will easily know that there's a bus time bus sign bus stop and then they are they are according to callers too so yes guys if you guys coming here in the summer times just take advantage of it because it's all for free and save you guys too of course lastly um my last tip for you guys we have a lot of debt in the grand canyon every year so hundreds of people died into the park um, every year that's why the book the death in the Great Canyon is keep adding up because of this a lot of deaths that um, acquired here in the park every year so mostly um, not probably about 100% is the fall in the Grand Canyon or if not it's just like 95% is to the fall in the Grand Canyon so do yourself a favor make sure to stay safe and don't do silly poses or silly photos 
while you guys are um, close to the rim because most of the people guaranteed you those um, the pole in the Grand Canyon probably about 50-70% of the people that died was doing a silly photo so be careful guys there's a lot of um, most of the places here in the park especially closest to the to the rim has a um, has a line or rope that goes just to give you guys security but still a lot of people are going across the um, rope so be careful guys and I hope you guys um, learned something on my tips and I hope you guys enjoyed these videos and I'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like